Mike Ringler of Skadden Arp Slate Meeker and Flom. Focus specifically on Musk's long-standing assertion that Twitter had a larger number of false or spam accounts. Now, if you were Scat and Arps, Slate, Meager, and Flom lawyer, how would you find how many fake bots are on Twitter? Because there's a whole lot. How would I? I don't know. Maybe make a program that sees every account that's being made automatically and automatically ban it. There goes half of your engagement on Twitter. <laughs> Who cares? That's the same thing that Twitter does. That's why they didn't do it. You just Twitter, lost out on an acquisition. Instagram, TikTok, Instagram is wild. So, like, here's the thing. Here's because that's a good argument. Because I have a videos on YouTube where eighty percent of the engagement is spam bots, and that mm -hmm. arguably drives up my views. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have less engagement and no spam bots and less views. The companies don't want that, especially when they're dying. TikTok well, probably Twitter's, away with Twitter's it. not dying, and it literally mm. just fucked up a... From a stock perspective, it's been dead for about 20 years. It's not even 20 years old. Okay, it's very not profitable. They just fucked up... Uh, what was it? I don't know how big the acquisition was, but they just fucked up an acquisition, a chance to be bought out. Yeah, I wonder what they thought. Of, like, raised hey, their price. Maybe they didn't even know what was up with it, and they're like, we think we have this many... They were just oblivious, like not oblivious, but they just didn't know the juice of how many actual fake bots were there. From my perspective, it seemed like Twitter didn't want to be bought by, or employee, Twitter employees didn't want to be bought by Elon Musk because they think he's evil. Oh no. Board's a little different than employees. Evil. evil. Board not wanting that is kind of interesting. Man, Board ain't no It really only matters what the investors think. Because that's why companies exist. The CEO is there to serve the shareholders, right? So, do you think the CEO is there to make always, some money? Which is what the shareholders want. So, the shareholders are like, they yeah, want get rid ways. of fifty percent of your employees. The CEO will be like, okay, if that'll if that'll make more money for sure. Sometimes you got to say, screw that. That's gonna ruin a company. Well, I mean, you're good investors, and then you get make more money, and then get more investors. Wouldn't you think that if you keep fifty percent of your employees, that makes the company less money? That is ruining the company. If it does, <laughs> if it. But if no, it, yeah, no, they wouldn't say wrong. that unless it would make more money, right? Eh, maybe, maybe not. They right. they are only vested in the the outcome of that company. That's that's the only point in investing. Long term, short term, maybe people got little different time horizons and all these investors are like, actually, we we're just in here for about two years. So we need that two year return, actually. CEO at the time, depending on the time of the <laughs> timeline of the company, where you're at in your lifespan, it's probably like, actually, that's going to make you less, me less money, this company less money in the long run. But, you know, so if much CEO's is making moves to not make money. What will it do? What will happen? The board will remove him or her and replace it with someone who can make money. In certain scenarios. No, in every scenario. What company just they keeps wanted, a CEO on? They want a jobs CEO out, on eh? that, Huh? They want a jobs out, eh? They want a jobs out because he was fucking up the company. Was he? He wasn't making any. He was, he was a genius, but he was making moves to not make money. He was selling $3,000 computers when nobody could afford them. Which was losing the company money, and so what happens they, after he left. They so he leaves, and then they start making products that nobody wants. They lose more money. Steve Jobs is in the background making another company, two companies actually, Pixar and Next, and they're both fucking killing. And so they're like, Apple's like, okay, let's bring this guy back on, because he probably will come back on. And then the company starts making money. That's why when you're like Tim Cook. And your company is just making more money than you know what to do with. You have more leeway to do whatever you want. 